I did this is Johnny. Uh, there's a new uh, analog pocket firmware update, which is 2.0. And uh, this is how you're going to find it. You just click on analog pocket, and I'll give you the link. And you just download the link. Okay. And it is released on December 24th, which is a day before Christmas. And it is a 2.0. Uh, the firmware update mainly it added the CRT to uh, new support CRT for for the console and also fixed something of the Game Boy format, which is the APGP, and then also it also added the 8-bit do dongle, and those are more like uh, the the dongle that is support the uh, so let me go to Amazon and let's just type in, let's copy this name. And so you have some idea of which dongle they are talking about, which are, okay. So any of the Sega 8-bit Sega game, which support the M32.4 and uh, Thing, the 8 bit dough, this one, which support the uh, Sega Genesis Mega Drive using this kind of controller. And then that's kind of weird that this one is kind of short and this kind of, this is like a regular converter. I'll probably recommend getting this one uh, instead of the other one. Uh, it was 24 the price just went up to $30, like less than a few minutes. And yeah, here's the $24 one, Sega Genesis. Get that one. All right. And then there's a, a, another way to to get that is pop in your SD card, which I just did. And we're going to go to my analog pocket. And we're going to run the update. And uh, that should give you, that should download the new version as well. Okay, so right now the version I have for the analog pocket is uh, one two, and I already downloaded this one just now today, which is uh, January the third. So let's delete those two and see uh, which one it will download for us. Okay, so we're gonna run. We're gonna run the one say the pocket underscore upper dot exe. Uh, that's the one that I always use. Now there's another one which is the the uh, there's another one that I think I did remove it. This is a pocket window update. Yeah, I did. I did delete. I did delete that other one. So be less confusing. So let's go ahead and do this one, update. So we automatically know there is a new version. Uh, so we got this one is a version 2.38.1 utility and 2.42. I want to install it. Yes, I. So it's 2.42. It was 2.4, I believe, last time. And I'm going to choose uh, this one. So I'm going to type GOO. Or you can just press enter, I believe. Okay. So both of them have an uh, update. This one. Uh, it download the new firmware and also update to a 2.42. All right, so we're gonna let it download, and then we're gonna check see if there's any uh, new uh, new thing that that have. See right there already. Uh, you already download the firmware 2.0, 53, roughly close to 54 uh, kilobyte. Okay, so it's downloading a whole bunch of stuff. It's skipping a lot of stuff because you say you already have installed it. 
and so it's skipping those. So we're just gonna let it finish. Okay, so only thing is tell me is that because I added something new to my PC common bio folder, it doesn't have anything new to update, so that's why it's telling me that. And then uh, the firmware is already downloaded. It says a new firmware that I need to be uh, restart your pocket PC. And this is the way to support them. And then uh, support sleep. Fun fact, the only court that support the save stage is NES. And I'm not sure what that one is. And then Wonder Swarm, I think it's PlayStation. PlayStation 1. Huh, so that's cool. Uh, Wonder Swarm and I'm not sure what that is. Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game, Game Boy Advance, and then uh, Game Gear, SG1000, SMS. And so still no Genesis and Super Nintendo, but Master System and Set Game Gear does support it. So no Super Nintendo or, or PC Engine. So if you was to play your PC Engine, there's no safe mode. All right, that's pretty much it. You just close it out and just pop, in, uh, pop this into your console and that's pretty much it. So that's two ways to do it. One is to uh, download directly from the website and which is up here, you could just click download and it will ask you where you want to save it. Okay, you can download directly like that or you could just do the update, which is probably good to do update if you already have the hack. All right, so let's check it out. Let's plug it in and see what it looks like. On the console, which is doing it, and then later it's going to update the docking station as well. So, so that way the update is getting done. Now, those of you who's wondering what kind of what kind of uh, adapter controller you should get, uh, this is a good one I use for analog, and is uh, Siri Five, and it's, it's charging both of them at the same time. Let's see if I have information in the back. So that is the an anchor. Anchor 523 charger. So this is the one that I recommend if you are in it's a lot cheaper than than if you was to buy one from directly from now if you got a docking station it comes with this. But if you were to buy this by itself, I think it's twenty dollar plus twenty two dollar shipping. So it's not worth it. It's only one port. The one I got have two port and it's actually doing a good job charging it. So we're going <clears> to <throat> we're going to let it finish and then we're going to see what what's going on. They at the same time. You have to update this first, then plug it in, and then it will recognize that you need to update the firmware. So don't try to update the firmware dock in it because it it will just update the firmware but then the TV is dead as you can see. So I unplug it, plug the power back in, plug the TV back in, and now I detect the TV. Now it's saying the firmware is out, out of date. Do you want to continue? So I went and plug in the 8 bit do or 8 bit do. Uh, that one is updating. Uh, make sure I'm not going crazy. Go to court, press A, press A, CRT. So see the lines right here, let's do it now, see better. See it went from there to there, got smaller. Okay, let me put it back again. You watch the screen change. See how that there's a gap right there? See, it went up higher. So with the CRT that they added, it just make it smaller. Uh, but it have a scan line on it. Do it again. And put it back. Okay.